Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the, the factors affecting the deflection of the beam. So what are the factors uh, that causes and that affects the deflection of the beam? So in this lecture we will be discuss, uh, discussing some factors which affect the deflection of the beam. So these are the five factors which affect the deflection of the beam and I will discuss one by one in detail. So to to explain this deflection of the beam, the factors affecting the deflection of the beam, I will take a simple example of simply supported beam. There's, there's a simply supported beam having the uh, hinge and the roll support. And let's suppose this the load acting on this beam is uniformly distributed load. So upon loading, this beam will show deflection, right? And let's suppose that this is the deflection path of this beam. So the maximum deflection of this beam will be at the mid of this a beam because it is simply supported so the mid deflection will be maximum and this deflection represented by delta delta is usually represented by the deflection is usually represented by delta and delta will be maximum here at the center of the simply supported beam and it is the formula of 5 by 3 to 4 which is the constant into w l 4 divided by e i so for the each case of the beams according to the uh, support condition, according to the different types of the beam, uh, the maximum deflection changes uh, as, per the, uh, kind, as per the different types of the beam. So for the simply supported beam, having uniformly distributed load, the maximum deflection formula is that, that uh, maximum deflection is 5 by 3 to 4 into WL power 4 into EI. So this is the constant value which changes according to the different uh, types of the beam, uh, but this factor is almost same for every type of the beam. It means that the deflection uh, has some relation uh, with these factors. Uh, there is a one, two, three, four. So there is a three factors, uh, and these factors affect the deflection of the beam. Now I will discuss one by one detail. The first one is the load. So load is here represented by W. It means that with the increase of the load, the beam deflection is going to increase. If we place more load on the beam, so it will deflect less. While if we increase this load, so the deflection will be increased. So it is the direct relation with the uh, deflection. So load W has a direct relation with the deflection. It affects the uh, deflection of the beam in direct relation. It's directly proportional to the deflection. The second one is the span of the beam. At the length here, you can see here L by 4. It means that the more the length of the beam, like for example, this is the length of the beam. If we have more length of the beam, like in this case, at this length is now more, we can see this span of the beam is now more length and case of uh, is compared to that of beam. So this beam will have more deflection compared to that one having the same, having the same loading condition. So we can say that the span of the beam, the length of the beam has direct relation with the, with the deflection. The smaller is the length of the beam, the smaller will be the deflection. The more is the length of the beam, the more will be the deflection. So these were the two quantities direct relation with the uh, deflection. Now the third one is the, you can see here the geometry of the beam. Geometry of the beam, so geometry of the beam here represented by I, you can see the moment of inertia. So if we have the same object having greater moment of inertia will be showing less deflection. So this is inverse relation with the deflection. Moment of inertia has inverse relation with the deflection. If we have object of higher moment of inertia, so it will show less deflection. If we have less moment of inertia object beam, so it will show higher uh, moment, uh, higher deflection. And the moment of inertia for this rectangular beam is uh, can be find out by this formula, BHQ by 12. So if you have more depth of the beam, so we have greater moment of inertia and greater depth of beam will, uh, will give more moment of inertia and will ultimately give less deflection because it is inverse relation. Now the fourth one is the elasticity of the material, E here represented. So if this is my beam of reinforced concrete, so it depends on the elasticity of the steel. Which steel is used and the more is the elasticity of the material, the less will be the deflection. So it is also the inverse relation with the deflection. You can see here that these are the inverse relation with one another. Now the last condition which is not mentioned here in the formula but it depends, it affects the deflection of the beam here is the support conditions. For example, this is a simply supported beam having hinge and roll support while if we have the same beam 
but the boot ends are fixed here. If you can see here, boot ends are fixed. So now, in the same load is applied on this beam, so it will show less deflection in this case as compared to this beam having same load condition and same length. But the support condition here are fixed, fixed here. But in this case, these are not fixed, so it will show less deflection. It will show more deflection. So it depends also on the support condition, which type of support conditions are there you provide in the beam, and it will show according to that condition. It will show the deflection. The good support condition, the fixed support condition, it will show less deflection and the lower, lower and hinge support conditions, we have more deflection. So this was the topic about how the factors affect the deflection of the beam. I uh, hope you guys understand the concept behind the factors affecting the deflection of the beam. However, uh, these factors are same, the uh, weight, the length and the elasticity and the moment of inertia is same, while this factor changes according to the uh, according to the different uh, beams. For example, we have cantilever beam with the, uh, uh, with the uniformly distributed load, so it will have maximum deflection here in this way. Uh, the only difference in this formula will be the maximum deflection here will be, these will be the same, but the only change will be in this factor, right? This factor, which is here in case of the simply supported beam, it is 5 by 3 to 4, while in case of the cantilever beam, we have different factor multiplied with this factor. So hope you understand the concept of the uh, factors affecting the deflection of the beam and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.